Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be doing just a how I feel type uh, video today. I don't know what look I'm actually going to go for, I'm just going to go right into it. I know that I actually want to um, do a brown lip, so I'm just going to go right into it. I already have my eyebrows on and cleaned up for you. Um, let's see. And I'll try and list everything that I used um, on my face down below but right now I'm gonna take just some concealer and use that as my eyeshadow primer so let's see and I'll have a a mirror like a little mirror that I'm gonna be using to help me see better um, this is my first YouTube channel and or YouTube video so just bear with me a little bit and then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just do that all on the lid just kind of as a little primer and then um, I just use drugstore brand brushes or whatnot this is an elf blending brush and this palette that I got, I got from Burlington, and I've been in love with it ever since. It's hella dirty, but it looks like this. Um, and the color that I'm going to be using to go in my crease, um, more as a transition shade for me, is called Celebrity. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. And it looks it looks like that. I'm gonna try so hard not to um, itch my eyes. Like this eye right here is like wanting to water so bad. Um, let's see. And I've also noticed. I'm gonna try to look into the camera um I've also noticed that um this eye is like a completely different shape than this eye so it's kind of weird I, I feel like this one always turns out so much better than this one does but um and like I said, you know, this is my first time doing anything like this. I get complimented almost everywhere I go on my makeup. So, um, I thought, well, maybe let me just give this a try. And like I said, if you don't have this palette or anything, like I was kind of surprised when I saw it. Um, and I, I just immediately was like, oh, I got to get it. Um. And it's also where I bought my um, concealer. It's broken. My son, he broke it. But it's Conceal and Sculpt Palette. And I got it from there as well. Um, but, like I said, this is my first time doing anything like this. So, I'm kind of a little bit nervous. And now my palette's so dirty because my son got into it. I think I'm going to go into hmm, I'm trying to think on what I want to actually put on the lid of what would go good with a brown lipstick. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go. It's called khaki. Um. Let's see. And it, it's this one up here. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm struggling right now. <laughs> but it'll be alright. Practice makes perfect. And I'm just going to go in on my lid. It's like a... 
Um, I don't know. You can't. To me, for me, it feels like it's kind of like a skin tone look for me. Um, and I like. I mean, I like to look like that. Or maybe it's this eye that always turns out better than this one. Not for sure. But I'll zoom in at the end of the video so you can like get a close up because um I know this is kind of like not a a good setup. Um that I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and back in with celebrity. Just to kinda make it look a little bit better on this one because this one really didn't do it and now with my same blending brush I'm gonna go into tricky and it's like a medium brown um this look to me is very simple and I do this um on a daily and then I'm just gonna push it in the outer corner of my eye and then pull it into the crease a little bit And it just kind of deepens it up a little. And I'm just going to do the same. Over here. I don't know what what type of eye shape I have um it's kind of weird a little bit but and then I think I don't know comment down below I'm using the um Milani Covet um lipstick and then in the middle I'm gonna do the Milani adorable um I don't know like comment down below like what um makeup that I could put in the center to bring it out more or something like that I don't know um I'm gonna do this dust to dawn it's like a very pretty shimmery shimmer kinda and I'm just gonna push it into the eyelid um and see what happens kind of gives it you can't really tell but it gives it a shimmer um and I'm gonna push it into the lid kind of gives it a shimmer it's kind of like a purple um like a purple uh eyeshadow with um sparkles in it And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and I'm not going to take anything on it. And I'm just going to... Fix the ends. And that pretty much completes like the eyeshadow. And... Uh, this came with the um, eyes palette from Burlington and it also has like on the other side I'm not going to show you because it's very very messy um, my son had got into it and messed with it but I'm going to take their black gel eyeliner because I ran out of liquid eyeliner which I love um, I'm just going to use the their black gel eyeliner that was in with the palette and I'm just going to line my eyes real quick
this is why I love like my um my um liquid eyeliner because it's so much easier I don't like using a brush like this and like dipping it into something I used to back when um I was in high school but not anymore because it's, it's for me it seems like it just doesn't really pick up all that well there we go And it looks something like this, if you can see. And I know that there's like a little bit of eyeshadow down right here. But I'm going to go back in with concealer when I put my foundation and stuff on. And get that um, cleaned up and looking proper. And I know I'm left handed. I'm sorry. I know i got to get um, to where I can. I'm going to actually do this in my big mirror. a little bit more smoother on oh when you poke your eyeball oh it's like the worst thing uh, my thing is like trying to get them to match is probably like the the hardest thing for me Wait, that, that's how that they pretty much match I didn't do too shabby and um I'm gonna go ahead and go with mascara I can't it's not that I can't but I don't like wearing false eyelashes um I've tried numerous of times I've tried different brands to get it to like stick I don't know if it's the way that I'm putting them on there I've watched plenty of YouTube videos um, to try and help me do it and I can't do it but it's what I do like though and I tried it um, about a couple months ago um, I'll try to insert a picture somewhere over here or something like that but um, I did the eyelash extensions myself and I love them I love it um, I'm going to go in with the Falsies Push Up Drama um, Mascara. I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. I realized that I was just like definitely making um, a face. Can't really even tell. When I zoom in, you should be able to tell. Are you serious? I'm just not having any luck. You know, I got mascara on my, my fingernail. But comment down below um, of maybe a higher end. I, I think it's just a glue. Like, I can never get the inner corner of the false eyelash it, um, to stick. Like, I can get the outer in the middle, but the inner just never wants to stick. And I find myself cutting it off, and it, it still it just doesn't work out for my advantage
and you have to be very careful with this mascara because it will clump your lashes it will clump your lashes and then I'm also gonna go in with oh it's like way off colossal if I'm not mistaken by Maybelline it's like I've had it for a good while so it's like off of the two kind of tell a little bit um I might be uploading my I think for my next video I know I'm rambling it's my first time I'm hella nervous but um I might do a DUI um DUI did I really say DUI do it yourself eyelash extension video good lord have mercy I'm struggling hardcore um now that I'm done with the eyes, I don't even put eyeshadow on bottom. I don't I don't like the way it looks with my eye shape or nothing like that. Um, I'm going to go in with foundation. This foundation, you guys, is not... To me, I don't think it's my color. Um, I don't know if I'm using the proper term. It oxidizes on my skin and it just makes it darker once it dries. Um, it is Black Radiance color perfect liquid makeup and it claims it's oil free it ain't oil free okay like no it makes my skin to me look greasy but this is the only thing I have my favorite is definitely Milani by far and I think I'm in the color number nine if I'm not mistaken but this color is mocha honey and to me it's not my shade and I'm hoping it doesn't look funny on um on my webcam I'm really hoping that it doesn't look funny but I'm just gonna place it and I've noticed that I have to work in sections and I'm gonna spray my beauty blender or drugstore blender whatever with spray you know it didn't make it ew, that noise and I already had my skin, um, it actually looks like it's blending in on camera. I already had my skin moisturized and primed. I used the Milani primer. I can't remember, like, what it's called. But... I think I figured out when I worked in sections with this, because I used to just put it all over my face, and then it would dry on one side. Um... And I gotta make sure I get the neck. Um, that it just made me look like a hot, hot ass mess. Excuse my language, but and it also splotches on the skin. Like I bet once I look in my little mirror, that um, it'll be splotchy. Yeah, <laughs> like it's so much dark. Like it looks so much darker than it does on camera, than it does in my mirror. Like it looks so much darker in my mirror. And also, if you have, I mean, I'm not talking down on it. People may love it, but if you have like those little bitty hairs on your face, this picks it up, child. It picks it up. Go ahead and get it on my nose and I forgot to get underneath my eye with it. Let me do that really well. Alright. So you can tell the difference. It's like it's to me it's darker. Which I have a hard time um finding the perfect see and there's like the spots like that's where I applied it at and to me it just mm. 
All right, let me look in my mirror to make sure. Um, I look so freaking orange. Like, I look so brown. Like, so, so brown. In this. All right, I gotta look in my little mirror for my forehead so I don't get my wig too dirty. Yeah, and the worst thing is when you have a wig. I've had this wig for like a month, I think. Um, no, like a couple months. I've had it for a couple months. Um, freaking. Um, I ripped the lace a little bit because I used the got to be glued. I feel like you can tell the difference. I'm sorry, I'm way off beat. But um, I used the got to be glued and it was my first time using it. And as I was taking the water to remove it, so you can tell like the difference. Um, it ripped, like, I ripped my lace. Let me kind of, I'm going to try not to make that look so white. I don't want to be looking all funky. But that's what I'm saying. Like this is the only um it's not my color, the only foundation that I have found that works and that is the closest to my skin tone. I don't know, it's kind of it's the Milani one, but it's kind of yellow tone, like has yellow undertones and it I don't know, it's the thing that closest that matches my skin tones. When I uh, hopefully can get subscribers like this video, I'm doing my best. You know, my child is in the living room with his dad right now. But, um, and I think my dog, I think Zelda's in here. Zelda! Zelda girl! Zelda! Zelda! You want to treat, treat? She's in here. She's somewhere sleeping. Um. Anyways, I don't remember what I was saying. Zelda. Okay. Yeah. She's she's sleeping somewhere. Um. For concealer. For concealer, I'm going back into this palette. That's like a. That's a or the orange or peach one. And that was like the banana color. Ooh, I just glared, y'all. I apologize. That was like the banana color or something. But it's definitely broke. Like my child, he broke it. But I'm going to use the... I have to mix mix them, which is... I can tell that my eye is watering in this corner. Um, It's like a... A shade darker than my skin tone like my natural skin tone and then I have to use the lighter lighter shade and I may have to mix the two together I feel like to get um, nothing that's like Too terrible. Um, I have that song. Um, that's what I like by um, Bruno Mars. Like stuck in my head. Like it ain't nobody's business. I love that song. And I have to go and buy um, new makeup, which I was on the NYX Cosmetics um, page last night. And I think I'm definitely going to be getting um, that. getting some because I gotta get new makeup use the buttons on here I guess I need to go in. 
You probably hear my other dog, Coco, um, barking in the background. I'm going to have to go back and fix that eyeliner. I definitely just hit it. I think we just touched it. <laughs> I normally use tape. Um, I found that trick. Um, um, on YouTube from somebody. Now I do have a um. I do have a actual actual personal um YouTube channel and then I just remade this one. I'm gonna take my air spun. You might can see it. My air spun. And I don't I don't think I'm gonna bake today because my son I'm trying to hurry up. I'm just gonna put Place it underneath my eye. I normally bake, but I don't want to look like ashy on camera or nothing. So, I'll bake everything else, but oh no, I don't think I'm going to bake today. I can't make my mind up. I just take my beauty blender and um, go in and I don't do the nose contour because I feel like I don't know how to do I can do makeup on other people and do it well a nose contour but on my nose I just feel like um no bueno it makes my nose look funky makes it look funky alright and now set my son might bust open the door to set the rest of my face I'm just gonna take the rest of the air spun and lightly I don't use a lot because like I said I don't want to look he's banging on the dryer I don't want to look ashy nothing all right and this brush is eco something eco something I think alright and for contour darling contour I'm just taking some brown and I'm just going right here and I'm going to push it up And this is the um, Elf sculpting sculpting brush. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that it's the sculpting brush. And that's just like the dark the dark brown that I use and then I go in with true complexion contour palette palette blah 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 um, medium to dark um, yeah. I would use the actual contour I have to remember look up there I have I would usually use that contour color but as you can see I'm all out and then I don't never use the highlight my son got into it and he scribble scrabbled and it went everywhere but I do use the sculpt to do um, the rest of my face because when I do brown I don't like doing blush I'm weird um I guess everybody just does their makeup how they want to do it I guess but I just put it right there and then I just blend it like that I might do a little bit of blush if I can find my but 
that's there's Zelda. There's Zelda. And then and it's just take it and fall it underneath. My jawline. It's like somebody talking in my backyard. I feel like I hear my boyfriend because Tucker's going off. And then I even take it along my ear. But I don't know. Ah, before I forget, girl, get it together. I'm gonna put it right here, and I kind of blend it in with my um, where I put the uh, what is going on out there? My wigs covering where I would actually, I don't want to like show where I rip my lace. But, um, let me see if I can find my, I can't find my favorite blush. I guess I'm going to go in with the Milani, um, powder blush in Coral Cove. Zelda, hi baby, do you want to be on camera? Do you want to be on camera? Let's see. This is Zelda. Mm. Hey baby, it's my girl. My little baby. Hey Zelda. Hey Zelda. Can you wait? Say hi everybody. Say subscribe to my mommy's channel. Mm -hmm. Alright. Shoo shoo. Shoo along. Get your booty out of the camera. <laughs> Zelda. Alright. Um, I'm going to take it. It looks like. Uh, I don't know if you can really. It's like it's a, it's like an orangey color, okay. And I have this elf brush. I don't I don't know. It's very pigmented. So I'm just gonna not wet my toes, girl. Blend it in. Sorry, guys. I know I gotta remember to look up. It's like an orange. I don't really do blush, but when I got it, I really liked it. Which I love Milani. Oh, God. I love Milani. What's the mail from Alright. What is left, my dear? Okay, um, let me fix the eyeliner really fast because I will forget... And I'm actually just going to use this big my eyeshadow. Mommy's almost done. And I'll let you out with Coco. Um, and then this is just an elf brush. I'm going to go in my inner tear duct. Girl, look up in the webcam. I might do a voiceover to this because I'm struggling. And, oh no, I don't want to go in here. Um, I use this for my highlight. It's the Milani Bella Chiffon. Bella Chiffon. Um, I actually do use this for my highlight because it's a... Ah... It's so pretty. Like it is so pretty, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna give it to you. Oh. Sorry. It was telling me that it's done, so it's like you need to hurry up, okay? And I'm gonna It there as well, and I'm almost, almost, almost done. Try to fix my eyebrow real fast. 
which I messed up you guys and I was not paying attention doing my eyebrows and I freaking um messed up my eyebrows terrible I'm missing like the, the girl I'm missing the tail on them um real quick I guess I'm gonna go ahead and spray with setting spray and I'm using the wet and wild photo focus and I always spray before I do my highlight and my lipstick girl oh I was like I can't find my highlight I gotta hurry up you guys You might not be able to tell and I'm gonna boop you can tell now you can tell now and I just use my finger yes highlight and and then I put a little bit right here just for a little shimmer Yes, girl. All right, lipstick. This one, like I said, it's Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Um, Covet. This stuff is so good that you don't even need a lip liner. Mm, I just love and it only takes one application that's it um, and they dry I know you're very low I, I understand okay and then I'm gonna take the adorable number 10 I have them all except for like the bright ones that I know ain't gonna look good on me and I just put it in the middle and mix them together And I will be right back, or I might not can be right back. Um, I'm just gonna go with it because my my laptop's done, and I'm gonna come up and show you the final look, you guys. I'm sorry, this is like definitely on my laptop, but this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoy this video please like and subscribe i'm new to this it'll get better i promise i'm gonna go get me a real camera and get the ring light get all that good stuff but i love doing makeup and i feel like you should be able mm, it's already dry um i feel like you should just be able to be creative and do what you want to and there's no rules to makeup like i just i love makeup i've been doing it for a very long time um i like how i do my face um and in my youtube channel i think i'm gonna do like wig like show you how i do my wigs and style them um do a lot of different makeup looks and i think like i said my next one will be definitely probably um a do-it-yourself eyelash extension um thing my bobber but um yeah like I this is like a very simple look for me um like I said I can't wear falsies other than you know um eyelash extensions but I wish that I it would actually show I'm in natural lighting but I'm doing the best I can I'm learning but this is it you guys 
I hope you enjoy. Let me know. Comment down below what you think. Um, if there's any tips that you ladies or guys might have for me. Um, I might do an eyebrow tutorial very soon once my <laughs> the tail of my eyebrows grow out because girl they're gonna have they're gonna have to grow back out. Um, I don't like not having like my real tails, but let me see if I can like zoom in a little bit. Um, here's the lips. Mm. Yes, girl.